welcome to my bed. Welcome to my Oh no, that's sex room. Never mind. Thank you for coming to my channel. It's me, Jazz Vendetta, or Jazz if you know me, or Jammin if you're my sister. So it's probably Jazz for you. So this video is going to be about me being Jeff Basom's whore. Just kidding, it's about my clear and apparent shopping problem. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, well, let's get into this mess. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this wax kit. It comes with three things. The wax, well, yes, the wax, the popsicle sticks, and then, what's that called? The actual wax warmer. Um, so it comes with five bags of wax. I think they're like only a few ounces. I don't know, I use all five bags of wax in one, this is cuter. I use all five bags of wax in one sitting, so like, don't. <laughs> I was learning though, it was my first time, it was my first time. Yeah. This was a more expensive one because all of you guys were also thinking the same thing I was thinking about waxing your body. Um, and y'all bought them all, so. Oh, and this thing that says free gift. I don't know what it's about. I don't know if I'm gonna check it, but yeah, they got a hot mail, so I don't know if I can trust that. Wait, did I say hot mail? They got a hot mail. It is 2020. If you still are using hot mail, grow up. Here's the first bag of wax I have. Um, I drunkenly ordered four pounds of wax, but then I realized that it's actually only three. So it's Kahlua wax is the first one. And it came in this bag and I actually didn't even take it out of the bag because I wanted to show you guys the bag. And it says crazy good wax inside, gorgeously smooth skin, may cause excessive gawking, instant attraction, and a spontaneous leg caress. So there's that. And the next bag is also another wax. It's from the brand Azuline. Az Azuline. I know it's like Azul is blue, but like Azuline, like they thought they were doing something by putting them. I don't actually know. This wax is a little bit. Oh, wait, here I see. Underarm and bikini. So thicker. Bomb. Next thing I got with the waxing is the Skin Tight Ultimate Skin Care Product for razor bumps, razor bumps and ingrown hairs. Formulated with tea tree oil and willow bark extract. And it looks like this. And it is all sold out on Amazon. But I, I see it in other places. But And I see like the other product. But they said, you know, this is king. It's actually... <laughs> So you should definitely give this a try. It is very inexpensive. Actually, most of these are inexpensive. Maybe not the wax kit, but also I have a shopping problem. So don't listen to me about what is and what is not inexpensive. I should have done this too. I had to get some Johnson & Johnson baby powder. I know y'all said it was like giving people cancer, but I still bought it. Um, talcum powder, no parabens. But, but, the so the word is P H T A A. Okay, so I figured it out, and the word was phthalates. I had to look on Google for it to tell me, but phthalates. So these are a pack of seven double sided. These are a pack of seven exfoliation gloves. Super simple. Um, you can, if the, like, I use coffee scrubs with this because I know I need like a lot of exfoliation to keep my skin soft. So I'll use like this with a coffee scrub or any kind of scrub or turmeric scrub, whatever scrub I make. And um, they get really dirty and I get grossed out when these things change colors. So you can just pop them in the wash and the dryer and they come out good as new. I'm neglecting this bar, let's talk about this bar. So it's the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap Bar, the tea tree oil one. I don't know what happened, but this shit was not working for me. Like, this is not it. Like, I really like the liquid form of this, but the bar soap form, Amazon. Ooh, I should go in more. Okay. Uh, 
my next thing is for when I do my mask, my vajayshals. It's a, if you don't know what a vajayshal is, it's the word vagina and facial put together and it's vajayshal. So vajayshals help uh, with ingrowns, they help brighten, they help exfoliate, and it's like a process. There's a girl on YouTube, I'm gonna link her down below because her vajayshal process, chef's kiss. Okay, so for the first thing I got for the vajayshal is this organic turmeric powder. Uh, I know you can get it from the stores, but during the time that I bought it, ooh, yes, you better focus. This is a good day. So um, when I bought it, it was when quarantine first started and I literally did not want to leave the house. So this turmeric powder really, it's, it's really nice. It's from India. So the next thing I have here is sodium bicarbonate, which is just basically baking soda. But when, again, when quarantine started, all of these were sold out to shit. So um, I got this expensive food grade baking soda. And it's like this. I don't know why, but I trust it more. It's sexy sodium bicarbonate. Like, hey babe, can you pass me the sodium bicarbonate? Yes, literally booty wipes so it, just as the rush was starting everyone was searching for these um just flushable wipes toilet paper paper towels and like i saw these on amazon and they had them in a pack of four now i said no the night before i was like i would go to the store and just get some flushable wipes like i'd rather just leave the house in quarantine and go to the store than you know spend 24 dollars on a four pack of wipes for your ass, of something that's going in the trash. But if we think about it. Isn't everything going in the trash at some point in our lives? So just buy it. That's the roof, people. Fixing the hole that occurred when a man fell through my roof the other day. I'm wondering if I'm gonna need to stop recording. Okay, got this CeraVe, is that how you pronounce it? CeraVe, CeraVe, and it's encapsulated retinol. So that's the next set. So I have this Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel with hyaluronic acid in it. It is oil-free and non-comedogenic, so it doesn't clog the pores. I really like this. I'm so glad that it works for me because I was using the Tatcha one and I didn't really care for it. And I don't, the Tatcha one doesn't have hyaluronic acid in it. This one has hyaluronic acid in it. Let me do a zoom in just in case I did it before. But yeah, it's just the Neutrogena one. Um. The next thing I have is, oh my God, are these ketone uh, scripts. And basically it was uh, for when you're doing ketosis. I'm at keto. And you want to test out the amount of ketones in your pee. Another YouTuber suggested it. And like, I was like, oh yes, it's definitely. So, It is cranberry concentrate pills and these help with like just like bodily things but I was using them in conjunction with these cinnamon sticks yes I did buy cinnamon sticks off of Amazon and not go to brown meat and fish like I just could have but I just didn't um, there's this tea that you can make with cranberry pills and cinnamon sticks and some people call it pussy tea so I got cut up in Twitter and I bought this ghost stack. I should have just listened in the comments and not have bought it, but like I was drinking wine and wine makes me buy things off Amazon. You know how people are like, mm, wine makes me want to get nasty. No, wine makes me want to go fucking shopping. Mine makes me want to get everything that I told myself, no Jasmine, please don't get that. 
that is nonsensical. Um, yeah, that wine makes me do all buy all of that. So hence how I ended up with four pounds of wax. Why do I need four pounds of wax? I don't need four pounds of wax. <laughs> but Jasmine, wine drinking Jasmine, or White Claw drinking Jasmine, or any liquor drinking Jasmine was like, buy it. You know, it's like when you have an angel and the devil, it's like a devil and a devil, like buy it. And the other one was like, yeah, no, buy more too. So it's like that. But, and it comes with one, two, three, four compartments. The compartments are a little small. I'm still trying to figure out what to put in there. And I always stop at like vitamins, nuts. And I'm like, I don't want to put like yogurt or something in here because I will like literally throw up. But if in the ideal world, this could be yogurt, yogurt, fruit, nuts, vitamins in an ideal world. But this shit is too small and I get grossed out with plastic items anyway. Like I can't keep them after a certain amount of uses because I feel like plastic is just weird. Like it, it'll carry the smell, even if you clean it with bleach, then it carries the bleach smell. If you leave it in dish soap too long, it carries the dish soap smell. If you wash it too fast, it carries the smell of the old, I could talk about this all day. Anywho, it's, it looks like this and it's, ooh, okay, sunlight. Someone say, hey. Oh, not to get onto more fitnessy things. So I also bought this workout um, one piece and it is so freaking cute. Like I look like a bad bitch working on accomplished goals. So the back is out like this. It's cinched at the ass and y'all know I'm thick. So this is gonna look fucking great. And then the back is out like that and it's crossed. The only thing is like the titty area, cause like I'm, I got a lot of titties. Um, the only thing about the titty area is it, it's safe, but not for too long. So when I put a sports bra under it, I still feel really good and I don't look too crazy. I know they have some, I know they have some sports. Mm. I know they have some sports bras that cross like this, but I wouldn't even need that. Honestly, when I'm working from home, my titties don't even slip out. So I just wouldn't go running at the damn gym with it. Like that's a no go. So that is my next thing. I actually did wear that and it was kind of cute. So I'm gonna toss that to the dirty bin. Then I have these resistance bands. Let's fit resistant loop bands. And it has five bands in it. Now, I do have a uh, mild allergy to latex, and I didn't see that they were 100% latex before I bought them. So I make sure to wear pants when I wear these. So back to what I was saying, it is a set of five bands that go from light, or no, extra light, light, medium, large, extra large. And of course the extra large one is in black because you know black people are associated with the extremes and everything so they made this subconsciously they made this extra heavy one black i uh didn't open like the extra light one and stuff because what i'm gonna do with that and these thighs nothing that's all i'm period i bought a food scale I have not opened it yet because I didn't expect it to be part of this video because it just got in. Uh, it's accurate, easy to use food scale and it records it in ounces and grams. I think it's, I think I like this. I got this Amazon Basics weighted ball because all of you suckers bought the damn um, weights so I couldn't buy it. This is a maze ball. I don't do what half the people say they were doing in the comments. Like people were saying that they, yeah like throw them on the floor like on concrete and pick them up and throw them on the floor and i'm like i don't think you should be doing that and they were like i don't like it because it didn't last through me throwing it on concrete 200 times and i'm like okay man just around and it has a strong oh my god you guys are thinking i'm not crazy it has a strong factory scent Hey guys, I know the video ended a little abruptly. I do have a part two coming out with the rest of the stuff that I purchased. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that if it is meant to be, it will be. And if it is not, it will not. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.